Hey Grace Kids, my name is Luana. Welcome back to Grace Kids TV. It's great to see you all today. In today's story, we're going to learn about how the gospel unites all kinds of people in love. In the first century, Corinth was an important destination in the Roman Empire. The city was located on a narrow area of land connecting the southern end of the Greek peninsula with the mainland to the north. When Paul visited Corinth on his missionary journeys, the city was full of people with various cultural and religious backgrounds. But before we get to today's story, let's head over to Grace Kids Trivia to see what you remember from last week's story about Paul and Barnabas telling Jews and Gentiles about Jesus. Question one, true or false? The Holy Spirit told Paul and Barnabas that they had an important job to do. And the answer is true. We're starting with a true statement today. The people in the church put their hands on Paul and Barnabas and prayed for them. They left their city to go do the work God wanted them to do. Question two, true or false? God led Paul and Barnabas to other cities to share the good news with only the Jews. And the answer is false. God led Paul and Barnabas to these different cities to share the good news about Jesus with both Jews and Gentiles. Many people thought that just the Jews could receive the good news about Jesus, but this was not true. Gentiles were basically people that were not Jews, so this was great for them to know about Jesus as well. Question three, true or false? Paul healed a man who had not been able to walk his entire life. And the answer is true. When Paul healed this man, all the people thought that Paul and Barnabas were gods, but they shouted, no, we are not gods. We are men just like you. They then said, we want to tell you the good news about God. And question four, true or false? Jews from another city came and started trouble. The people decided to fight against Paul and Barnabas. And the answer is true. Sadly, this was true. The people did fight against Paul and Barnabas. They even threw rocks at Paul and dragged him out of the city. But that did not stop Paul and Barnabas from sharing the good news. God helped them share the good news with everyone through the good and the bad times. And our final question of the day, question five, true or false? The Holy Spirit wants us to tell other people about Jesus so they can be saved from their sin. And the answer is true. Just like Paul and Barnabas experienced, sometimes sharing the good news about Jesus can be difficult but the Holy Spirit wants us to share the good news with everyone around us. Hi friends, I'm Megan and I'm Jessie. Jessie, are you going to the park to ride bikes today? I'm not going to get to ride bikes for a while, Megan. Oh, I'm sorry, Jessie. How come? Well, when my brother and I were riding our bikes yesterday, we argued over who was fastest. So we raced, and I ran my bike into a tree and bent the wheel. Oh no. Yeah, we both got in trouble for arguing, so our mom said no more riding bikes for a while. Oh, that makes sense. It's important for family members to get along. But it's even more important for believers in the family of God to get along. It is? Yes. In today's Bible story, the believers in Corinth did not get along and argued. Listen to what Paul said to them in his letter. Paul wrote a letter to the church in Corinth, which he had helped start. The church was having problems. Some of the believers did not get along and they argued about what was most important. 
They met in small groups and had different leaders. Some groups thought their leaders were better than others. One person would say, I belong to Paul. Another would say, I belong to Apollos. Or, I belong to Peter. Or, I belong to Jesus. Paul wanted this to stop. Is Jesus divided? Paul asked. No, he isn't. Jesus does not want his people to be divided either. Believers are like one body, all brothers and sisters in God's family. They come together because of the gospel, the good news about Jesus. Paul said hmm? the truth about Jesus hmm. seems silly to some people because they don't believe it. He said, but it is the power of God to us who are being saved. Jesus' death on the cross might seem foolish to everyone else, but God used it to rescue sinners. When Paul preached, he didn't use big words so that people would think he was smart. Paul reminded the church that believers should not try to make themselves look special. Like Paul, we should just tell other people the good news about Jesus. Everyone in the church comes together because of Jesus. When we remember what Jesus did for us, we can get along with others. Paul wrote his letter to help the believers in Corinth. He told them many things about how to follow Jesus. Believers should live in such a way that people see hmm? them and know they follow Jesus. Paul told the believers in the Corinthian church to come together because of the gospel. He reminded them that Jesus saves sinners. Because of Jesus and what he has done, believers can come together as one. Kids, for our craft this week, we are going to make a maraca, which is a type of instrument. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, but you're going to need a brown paper bag, some coloring utensils, a half a cup of popcorn, just a little cup, and some masking tape. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Are you ready? First, you're going to color the bottom of your brown paper bag. So the part that opens should be on the bottom facing you, and you're going to decorate the top because the bottom is going to end up being the handle of the maraca. So decorate the top, and I'm going to write praise him on it, but you can write anything that you want, or you can even just draw a picture or decorate it with different colors. Okay, and if you want, you can even do the other side too, and you could fold up the flap to decorate that too. Then, after you're done decorating, you're going to open the bag completely. You're gonna pour all of the popcorn into the bag. Then the last part, you're gonna grab the bottom of the bag and twist it, making sure that this top stays open where the popcorn is and just twist the bottom to make a little handle. And this, the foldy part will just come off and that's okay. Okay, and then to keep it closed, you're going to use your masking tape and just wrap it around the handle. And I'm gonna use the masking tape in two different spots. I'm gonna do it at the base. I'm gonna do one more at the bottom. If you need to add more tape, you can, but you want to make sure that it stays twisted so that when you shake your maraca, 
all of the popcorn stays in the top. And then your craft is done. Your craft is going to look awesome. And we can use our maraca to praise Jesus and to remind us to live in such a way that when people see us, they know that we follow Jesus with all of our hearts, just like we learned today in our story. I hope that you all have a great week. Thanks so much for watching.